Welcome everybody, I am MRM Horns from JRG Gaming, U Gaming and I'm going to bring you this little gameplay commentary on feeds. And I'm going to shut up for one second and let you watch this. Missed feed. So this, this commentary is not just going to be about getting feeds, but it's also about missing feeds. And like, I guess I'm going to say the best ways to get feeds, how to get feeds, what to run to get feeds, all that. First, this is an MSR, as you guys can tell, 46 and 13, and I am running TAC Insert C4. So, uh, to get feeds, the first thing you need is a TAC Insert. You're not going to get feeds without a TAC Insert. You might get feeds with TAC ins without a TAC Insert, but it's going to be a lot harder, and it's going to take a lot longer to get to the places to get the feeds. Because there's, you're not going to just get feeds random places. There's got to be certain places where the feeds are going to come to you. And once you play a long time, a lot on this game, you know the major routes and you know where to sit or where to run to try to get these feeds. And secondly, the the C4. I, I love C4. It's my uh, my favorite equipment because it's got a huge blast radius. And it doesn't take that long to blow up if you use the double X. And and so yeah, that's that's basically it. And then on your sniper, if you're trying to get feeds, you gotta use sleight of hand. Quick draw. I guess you can change out the second perk. I like quick draw. And then uh third, you gotta use marksman to see people. It's so much easier to see people when their names pop up above their heads without using marksman. Without using Marksman, if you use Dead Silence, you might be quieter, but it doesn't really matter since you're trying to get feeds and you're not trying to get a long kill streak and try to be sneaky around. You're trying to, you're, you want to know, you want them to know where you are and you want them to come towards you, basically. And there's there's three way main three main ways to get feeds. The first way is spawn snipes, like you saw this game start, and it's always great to start out a gameplay with a with a triple collateral or a quad collateral. Gameplay start, and uh, here's a nice little feed. I don't know how that wasn't a collateral, but but it wasn't. The hit detection in this game is kind of bad sometimes, even when you're on a good connection like I was. So, so the, the two main ways to get feeds, I guess, during a gameplay, would be to to either sit in a spot like I do a lot in this game, in that other corner where you saw me die from placing my attack insert. And, you know, that way, is, that way is good in many cases, especially when you're playing with a bunch of people in a lobby. If you're playing with six people in Domination, or you're, if you have a full nine party in Ground War, it works the best because you can just control where they're going to be, especially if you're all really, really good. But that's also, the, the feeds in that one aren't as pretty, you know, especially if you're just sitting there aim down sights. The only ways those are really, really good if there's like, 30 people and you get like a Moab just like in like 20 seconds just from people running through that spot but that's kind of an over exaggeration and and so that's basically it about sitting in one location waiting waiting for them to run down a certain place a certain pathway the second way which is probably the the most cinematic YouTube way to get feeds is just by running straight at the people you know you just you just you just say F it. I don't want to wait anymore for these feeds to come to me. I'm gonna go grab these feeds. I'm gonna take over the gameplay. Show them that this is this is me here and you're gonna die, basically. Uh I I like this a lot more than just sitting around. But this is also you also die more doing that, I guess, so you don't get as good of a score. And if you're trying to get a good score, I guess you don't want to really rush around trying to get feeds. You want to sit back try to get feeds. But in the first place of trying to get feeds, you're not trying to get a Moab. You're not trying to get a long kill streak. You're just running support, trying to help your team, try to try to get the best best short 20, 30 second clips you can. You're not trying to put together a full gameplay. So, so that's basically the gist of that. And then about missing feeds, oh, you like that jump shot? I like that jump shot a lot. That was a pretty jump shot, wasn't it? And so, so missing feeds, getting feeds, missing feeds, 
you're not going to, every time you see a feed, you see five people, the odds that you get that feed are probably like one in ten. Because the longer the feed's going to be, the less often it's going to be, and the more people there are to kill you. I mean, not not trying to say that that you guys are bad and you're not going to kill everybody, but you're not going to get a feed every single time you see the feed, unless you're like the best player to ever play this game, like Fearcrad or someone who like doesn't die. Like if they die, it's like the end of the world. And then here's missing feeds. Like this is a missed feed, even though it looks pretty good. You know, there's what six people there. I only got two before I died. And uh, so you're not gonna get a feed every time. Maybe one out of every ten feeds you see, you might get a good feed. And even if you get a feed, it might not be a good feed. You might kill four people, but when you go back and look at it, it's not as good as it actually happened, and it's not like gonna work out as good as you thought it would work out. I guess I can say. But, and then the, my favorite way, the best way to get feeds, the best way to show everyone your feeds, would either be like final kill feeds, where you get that second time, where everyone gets to see what you saw, and everyone can see that feed without having to, to post it on YouTube. You can just shove it in the face of those people you're playing. And then this box, that those boxes are like concrete. They're not boxes, they're concrete boxes. You can't shoot through them. I don't know why, but you saw earlier where I was just shooting at people through there. Like here, let's see if I do it again. See, yeah, I tried to shoot through it again, doesn't work. And then the another main thing about feeds is that you don't want to try to get kill streaks. I'm just running support 12, 14, 16. 12's, 12's good because you get to see where they are, you get to see where they're looking, you know, that advanced UAV. And then uh, I like. I like the stealth bomber is always good, you know, get those extra kills to try to boost you to the MP EMP. And the EMP is good because you don't have to worry about them having UAVs up and knowing where you're at at any time. Like here's another misfeed. Watch this. Like like watch me die and then watch the people come around the corner and you're just like, "Ah, I almost had that." But the the gameplay's coming to a close. We only got about another minute. And uh like I'm saying, it's not the best gameplay, but it's a good gameplay to show you the the rights and the wrongs about trying to get feed, trying to get feeds. I don't know why I'm keep placing my tack back in there, because I realize that the spawns are switching, and I should probably move it back to C, because I was having the most success at C and not a lot of success at A trying to get feeds. But here's a nice little triple, triple quickscope final kill cam with a nice little 180 at the end, killing this last dude. So that that's it guys. The guy the guy that I killed rage, raged. Didn't don't get to see the final kill cam. Wish I could. But uh thank you everybody again. I'm MRM Horns and this is JRG Gaming. Bye.